Welcome to Premier Velocity's Audi R8 V8 Spider, a review that I've been waiting to do for a long time and finally been given the option. So before we get James in the driver's seat and take this car for a test, let me just uh, give my initial impression of the interior. From getting in this car, the door handle it just feels so luxurious to shutting the door. The sound um, is again very special. And then once you're inside, the balance of leather, stitching um, and stainless steel is uh, very, very well designed and stylish, as you can imagine from an Audi um, car. The steering wheel, taken straight out of a Lamborghini Gallardo, so you get that supercar feel, um, as you do from looking in the wing mirrors and you get to see the extended uh, wheel arches as well as the side air vents. So this car really excites me. Although it's the V8 model, not the V10, I'm still really, really uh, excited to feel the power of this car and uh, get a better understanding of what this car's like. So let's get James in the driver's seat and take this car on the road. <laughs> and drive it in England every day just with that window down because it enhances the sound. It does. So much. It, it was a good thing that, you know, that they designed with the Gallardo. Listen, the listen. That soundtrack the is soundtrack. amazing. It is really good. This is the car that I definitely feel the most comfortable in when driving um, in regards to kind of, you know, something that's a little bit more than the norm. Um, I'm it's very definitely well, very not well acquainted. Normal, definitely not a normal car. Just the looks of the Audi R8. When it first came out, I fell in love. Yep, absolutely. To this day, from when it came out in 2007, now the car is not outdated. It no, still it's not, looks not up to date with the likes of the 458, the GTRs. They've um, only had to like you know mildly facelift it, and and it still looks really good. Yeah, it does. And uh, and I did get scared that they were going to try and redesign it or try and you know do something to it, but they didn't, you know. And I'm glad that they did that because it's, it is it's very it is iconic. Yeah, the exterior looks amazing. The interior is just as cool. Yeah, very very nicely done. But that's what you would expect from Audi when they're going to do something, they do it right. Yeah. It's just really weird because. Audi, you know, they do build uh, quite a few kind of fast RSs, you know, they build the RS5, the RS6, the RS4, which are all very good cars, but at the same time, they're all pretty kind of, they're all pretty boring as driver's cars, whereas in this isn't, so it's good. So, for a V8, it's a good I always, yeah, that it's a really good engine ventilator to this, you know, it, it feels, you know, it feels Lambo fast, it really does. That, it really does. Massive, massive R8 fan. Yeah, always have been. Well, this is this is the same as me, but I've obviously only had the uh, the third person opinion. I mean, seeing them in London, I always get that that feeling when you just see those headlights coming towards you, the the iconic headlights. Yeah. That. I mean, oh, and it sounds good. It's, it does sound good, and it it pushes on through the through the rev range. So. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the camera frame. <laughs> it's just got it's got all the power you need in this car. I mean, we said in the Porsche box that it was it was so fun because the power was accessible. Absolutely. To the limit. Yeah. Whereas this is is sort of the same but a two two or three gears ahead of the Porsche. Yeah. And it has the looks. It has that the the persona. And like I said going back to the headlights, it's just it's the way that the car looks. It's yeah, it's and, and the It's got the whole it, package. It does have the whole package. It, it ticks, really really is. I it mean, it ticks a lot of boxes in my first supercar. So now we're coming up to the roundabout. 
Um, I think everyone's going to know what the next bit I'm going to say is. The tunnel is looming. The tunnel is looming. And this is a V8. For me, the, the, the R8 V8 sounds better than the R8 V10 if we're talking stock, completely stock, both of them. Yeah. I'm writing saying as we can do the same as what we did in the Lamborghini and put this roof a little bit down. Yes. We can do that. That's my favourite bit in the convertibles. As much as I don't like convertible supercar, that is cool. So here we go, we've got the tunnel. I hope the V8 puts a smile on my face. I hope so too. <laughs> Managed to do it because you know the rest of their cars just understeer into trees. That's all they do. But I'm really sorry to Audi about that because I've driven all and they're great engines, really well engineered, but they just go straight on all the time, and I don't get why they all do that. But this just doesn't. This I don't know what they did or who was you it know has everything wrong who was on call one. that day, who was at the table when they started doing this because they need him back yeah. to continue doing it. You know, it's it's that good. One one point I'd like to make is we've we've. We've done a video on the McLaren through the tunnel and we lost about 20 miles worth of fuel. <laughs> I've been looking at the fuel gauge in the Audi R8 in this car mm. and it hasn't, hasn't moved. moved. And we've it's been in it on full and it's, it's still, still full. on full. I mean, that is impressive. I know that you know what? we have touched upon it's... that we don't like cars that do good fuel in, no, in terms of supercars, but that is a, but plus, a, is a plus point. But, you know, I mean, we have to be, you know, we have to kind of... We don't want to Jeremy... We've we got, yeah, got to be realistic for a second. Yeah. We're looking to buy one and use it, you know, and so... It, is, it does work out better if you're not going to the pumps every 10 minutes. So now we're on our way back, sadly, to Premier Velocity HQ after doing the, uh, the a half, a half an hour, half an hour review of the Audi R8. And I have to say, I didn't think I'd say this. I mean, we have said in the McLaren and the Lamborghini, they're faultless in their own in their own little role in their own little role of the supercar industry. But this seems to be faultless as a car. I mean, it does supercar very well. It does normal everyday car very well. It does. It puts a smile on your face, but it can also get you from A to B without losing 20 gallons of fuel. Yeah. It sort of, it seems to be the most reliable option. Option. The cheapest. The, the, the cheapest compared to a lot of them? Compared to if a, you're a, looking, yes, definitely. If you're I mean, looking, you could buy, you could buy probably yeah. five or six of Audi R8s in the, for the price of a brand new 458 or a brand new McLaren, but absolutely. What are you going to do with six with six R8s? Six R8. But what a, what a car! What a car! James said it at the, right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. This car is one of his favourites, and I just Ooh. I just have to agree. What a car! We've done the we've done the review. We have finished the review. I think we might be getting somewhere now. What do you think? I think we're getting somewhere with your first car, maybe. We are. I think we're getting and somewhere. To to quickly sum up what we've got to come for the viewer, we've got the Maserati Grand Cabrio, which is uh, one of Premier Velocity's favourite Grand Touring convertibles. But I'm really reviewing that for the sense of the the, the Coupe MC Shift, yes, which has got the the V8, the 4.7 litre, ridiculously sounding, amazing engine. Great engine. 
So we've got that to come. We've still got the LP570 Poffermante, which probably would be better to do on a dry day. Well, yeah, well, so yeah, maybe. We'll save that for a dry day. And then Premier Velocity have also got an Aston Martin V8 Vantage S coming. On the way. Which on is going to be really exciting because we love the DB9 we for do. what it is. But for the V8 Vantage is more supercar. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's what's to come along with a few other cars. So make sure that you subscribe, like, and comment on the video on what your favourite car so far is on my first supercar. Thanks for watching.